My name is Sandra Hancock, and I have a voice of hope for you today. And I want you to know that that hope is in Jesus Christ. No matter what you're going through today, you have hope in Jesus, and we still serve a miracle-working God. And what I want to talk to you about here for the next few minutes is how to get your joy back. Because there's too many Christians today that's not walking in victory. And in fact, some of them even maybe look like they're baptized in lemon juice. Now, I know that's not you. But you know, this world doesn't want what we have if we don't even have a smile on our face. And I know some of you are going through some hard times, and I'm not belittling anything that you're going through because life is hard and bad things are happening to good people everywhere. But I want you to know that the joy of the Lord is your strength. And right now, you feel like you've lost your strength. You feel like you don't even have fight left in you. But the Lord wants to restore that joy to you today. And first of all, I want to do just a small teaching on the difference between happiness and joy. Because see, happiness is an emotion. When you lose your job, you're not happy. In fact, you don't say, praise God, hallelujah, I lost my job today. Or if you've got a virus, you're not happy. Praise God, I am sick. No, you're not happy. That's an emotion that we all have. But the joy is knowing that it's a part of kingdom living. Kingdom living is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. And true joy comes in when you know that you belong to Jesus. And if you're saved here today, you belong to Jesus, and Jesus is for you. And he, that's that joy that we have, that no matter what kind of storm that you're going through in your life, God is working it out. And when you understand that, the joy of the Lord is your strength, it gives you peace and it gives you faith to know that no matter what is happening now, I belong to the Lord and He's working it out for my good. Because Romans 8, 28 says, All things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and are called according to His purpose. And God has a great purpose and a great plan for your life here today. And some of you are saying, Well, I don't understand that purpose right now. I don't understand why I'm going through what I'm going through. But I want you to know, you're only going through the process only going through the process. It's like making a, a homemade cake. Now, forget the homemade cake thing. Let's talk about a cake mix. <laughs> when you're ma making that cake and you put like oil in there and you put, let's see, what does it call for? Eggs and a little bit of water. Each one of those ingredients doesn't taste very well by itself. Raw eggs can be even dangerous. <laughs> uh, oil doesn't taste well by itself. But once you put that cake through the process and you put that thing in the oven and when you bring it out, oh, it is so good. It is so good. So some of you here today may be thinking, you know what? I just am ready to give up. But understand, you're going through the process and your life may taste like raw eggs today. It may even taste like oil right now. But you know what? It's going to take better in time because God's working it out for you right now and better days are ahead. So I encourage all of you who are watching this video, don't you dare give up in the middle of your process. Don't you dare give up before your miracle takes place. Don't give up before your healing. Don't give up before your breakthrough. Too many people give up in the middle of the process. But God has a great plan for you and a great life for you, and He wants you to get that joy back. He wants you to have that strength to let you know that, you know what? You've got fight in you because you belong to Jesus. You are the child of the King. You have the Spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead living within you. And that joy will come when you know you belong to Jesus and He's working it out. Some of you just need to learn to laugh. You know, the Bible says that a merry heart doeth good like a medicine. And some of you haven't laughed in a long time. You need just to have a good old belly laugh. And sometimes that's good to just laugh at yourself. You know, some of you need to give yourself some mercy and grace. Because you know what? We've all made mistakes. We all have regrets. 
We all do stupid things, and I do plenty of those myself. But sometimes you just got to give yourself some grace and mercy and learn to laugh at yourself. You take yourself way too serious. The Lord wants to restore your joy today. And as I'm speaking, I feel that faith rising. I feel your joy coming back. I feel your strength coming back that you're going to make it. So if you're having a problem today and you're just ready to give up, you're ready to say, I'm just tired of the fight, it's no accident that you're watching this video and the Lord wants to restore you today. So if you would, let me pray with you right now. Would you bow your heads? Father, I lift up every person that's watching this video. Lord, it's not a mistake that they're tuning in right now. Lord, I pray right now, help them to understand that how much you love them, that you died on the cross just for them. And no matter what kind of storm they're going through today, it's only a process and better days are ahead. Lord, restore their joy, that the joy of the Lord is their strength and their strength comes from you, Heavenly Father. Wrap your arms around them. Show them your love like never before in Jesus' name. May God bless you all. Thank you so much for watching this video. I encourage all of you to share with your friends because you know what? They need their joy back also. I also want to encourage you to come to one of our conferences in a city near you. May God bless you.